These are different sets with the same number. These are sets that look the same with different number, but they're actually different. Hey, I'm Jabbo. Welcome to Bricks Art. So I was going to, I got these two open sets out and I was going to either build them or rebuild them. I couldn't remember what I had done with them. These are the, uh, the Chopper Showdown set. This is the one with Deadpool, which is the, the figure of value in particular in this set. I don't know where my Deadpool is. <laughs> I did a video with Deadpool in the video years ago when I was selling my New Mutants number 88, I think it was, was the first full appearance of Deadpool in that comic book. I sold that on eBay, and I had the figure sitting on top of the comic book. So I know I had it. I don't know where it is. My son might know where it is. <laughs> I looked for it before. So in these boxes, uh, one is built. Uh, this I got the helicopter out here. The other one uh, is still, it's, even though the set is open, the bags are still sealed. So I just want to take a moment to talk about things like this, the set 6866. It, they look identical. The boxes are the same. Everything's the same. But they're not the same. <laughs> and I'm going to show you that in, in just a moment. Now, the Billund Airport, uh, this is one that Kevin Elf, the original minifig, gave me years ago at Philly Brickfest. Uh, the only way you can get this set is to go to the Billund Airport. And he was an airline pilot, or a pilot. I don't know if it was for an airline, but he was a pilot. Or worked in the, he did something with airplane, <laughs> and so he did actually physically go there, and this was a gift he got from me uh, when he went to Billen. This is the new one, which is now the old one because it's discontinued. You can't get it anymore, and uh, this one I bought. <laughs> uh, they look. I thought. Oh wait a minute. I was looking at these. the reason I got this out is for my yellow truck collection. <laughs> You're like, why do you have an airport uh, for your yellow truck collection? Because there's a little, there's a little tiny yellow truck right there, and on this one, I thought, oh, it's different. The truck's pointed a different direction. <laughs> As you can see a yellow truck on there, but these uh, are ones. This one was 281 pieces. This one's 286, and they look very much similar. But apparently, there was a change to the airport. On this end, there's a slight difference, like they either added something or remodeled uh, part of the airport. So these are very similar sets, very similar build. I almost didn't build the new one because, I, oh, it's just the same thing with a different number, but it's not. And Lego's done that where they've re-released something uh, and it had the same number, but maybe a minor change like the Saturn V rocket. I should have got those out for the purposes of this video. Now, the Saturn V rocket was re-released with one minor change. They re-released the ship in the bottle with a different set number. All through the 70s, maybe in the 60s, the, all through the 70s up to the 80s, they would have different set numbers depending on where a set was released, whether it's in Europe or North America. Uh, there is one case, and I wish I had brought it out for the, this example, of a set that had two different builds in the instructions. One version, <laughs> this is a homemaker set. Uh, it, they look like two different sets, but one featured the secondary model as the primary model. Well, actually, which one is the primary and which one is the secondary? One was a car, I think it was a car, and the other one was called Locomotive. They are the exact same set, exactly. One's called Car, one's called Locomotive. I it, I may be misspeaking. I'll, I'll try to put images up of those. But yeah, they they the exact same set, but they featured a different model. It's basically like they were two in ones back then. So they never called them two in ones or three in ones. There are a ton of sets that Lego made that had multiple instructions, or or at least a different model with instructions that you could build from the same pieces. This one they decided to feature this what was the secondary model in one set as the primary or vice versa. But this one is the example of mini sets that more people might be familiar of like the Wally -E set where they modified it because of the stability issue. 
that's what I think happened with this. And let's show you the instruction manual on this. Pretty sure I did a video on this. <laughs> I always say that. Um, so I'm missing Deadpool. Can't find Deadpool. Uh, what did I do with the instruction manual? <laughs> oh, don't tell me I didn't bring the instruction manuals down here. This one is, the bags are still sealed, so I should still have my Deadpool in there somewhere. Yeah, I think this is the bag. It's got this Deadpool's head. Oh yeah, there's my instruction manual. And yeah, there's Deadpool's head right there. Alright, so did I put the instruction manual? Oh, there's the instruction manual. So I got two instruction manuals here. Let's put these parts back in this bag. So yeah, I got a mint sealed Deadpool there. Um uh, I don't know what I did with the comic book for the other one. The comic book's probably the same in both of these. So this top one is the one that I already built. And so we'll just open it up. And we'll go until we find something different. I think everything looks the same there. So that, again, top one is the one I've already built. The bottom one is the one that I've opened the box but not built it yet. Uh, so far... Already, already a difference. Page, step two of the build of the helicopter. There's already a difference, but let's see. So that one by one is here. It's not there. Like I said, these are different. And this is something, yeah, it's already completely different here. So it looks very similar, but we got this two by two round piece there. I don't even know how well that's showing up on camera. And th this is something, this is one of the first sets I noticed it by parting out. So this is something you're more likely to notice parting out a set uh, when you're doing multiple copies where you happen to have the same or different varieties of the same set. And uh, this two by six brick here is a key difference um, that two by six brick right there, and I think it had to do with the stability of the helicopter. So, yeah, we're still a little like way different now on step twelve. Even though you're adding the same part on step twelve, and I don't, I don't, I don't know other differences. I don't know if you get to a certain point, then it starts to be the same. I think it might be. We might be to that point now, where everything. Is the same going forward? Uh, let's skip ahead. Page 37. Yeah, I think we're. It was just that the 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 support for the helicopter. So I think this was kind of a flimsy build, the way the original, the first copy of the instruction was, and they updated it. And I remember this is one of those sets I had like multiple copies of it. And I was parting it out, and I'm like. Something doesn't add up. The, the quantities of the parts I have don't match the number of sets that I have. <laughs> and I got to looking, and it's where you look at the alternate. And that's it, the, the easiest way to, if people have done inventories, is to look on BrickLink at the alternates. And that's usually what the alternates mean, is that there were different production runs of sets that had different parts, different molds that may have been used, or in this case, a totally different build. So this could be a situation where, well, let me come back off the tripod or come back in front of the camera, I should say. So I'm trying to keep up with which copy of the instructions goes with which one. So let's say you're a seller on eBay or BrickLink and you like to piece together sets and then sell them and say, you went by the inventory for this set and you pieced it together. Well, if you went by the main inventory, you would probably be piecing together this one, which is the first uh, version of the, the, the helicopter. And they could build it if you gave them this instruction. But if you gave them this instruction, let's say you just had, you found the instructions and the build and you looked this up on, on BrickLink and you, you're more than likely gonna to piece together the first version. But if it was the second version and you went by the inventory and you didn't take into account 
that and they you sent them the set and they got this instruction manual that was the second version they're not going to have all the pieces and they're going to be like hey you didn't it's, you said this was complete and you're going to be you're going to be going I know it was complete I checked the inventory <sighs> what it, they're lying and this a situation where both of you are technically correct they're trying to build it from the instructions you pieced it together from the inventory and there's a mismatch there <laughs> so check the if you're ever piecing something together check the alternates and try to deduce from the alternates well are these alternates because there was a change in the instruction manual are they alternates because it's just different molds what is the reason because if you're selling that set and you sell it to somebody and they build it before they leave you feedback they may be thinking that you shorted them on something and i think that as a buyer be that's something to think about if you're buying from somebody and technically actually people that this applies to probably don't watch videos like this <laughs> but if you're buying and you you seem like you're shorted on something check that too that if it's something that there were alternates it may somebody could have sincerely thought that they made the set complete but they were looking at an inventory that didn't apply to the instruction manual that was in there and i'm sure i've done that i'm sure i have pieced things together from the inventory i know that even on this channel i've built some of my old sets and thought i thought this was complete and it be stuff that i i inventoried and then I have to go find the random pieces. And it could be just one of these alternate builds. But I, oh, I hope I didn't mix these up. <laughs> it doesn't matter. This is one of the superhero sets. I, th I think I'm going to keep it. I, I thought about selling one version of it. Um, but I think for for this, because I may revisit this one day in the future. Future. Um, and I think this would be a good set to keep for that. Plus, I don't know where my other Deadpool is. And I... I would be sick if I sold this one. So this one's basically new and open box. The box is open, but everything in the seal is new it, the way it would come. You know, you get your wrinkled instruction, your wrinkled comic book. That's the way it would come. That's why grading, grading boxes of Lego sets is stupid. I'll repeat that. It's moronic, idiotic, nonsensical. Don't grade your boxes because this is the way the instructions look in there. <laughs> You're just grading a cardboard box. <laughs> it's worthless. <sighs> I don't understand why people do that. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm keeping this because I don't know where Deadpool is. Jacob, do you, do you know where Deadpool is? <laughs> I'm so unorganized. And we're nowhere close. We're actually, we are a little closer to getting organized. But it's, yeah, every day... I find stuff, and every day I learn stuff I've lost. It's it's a double-edged sword. But I'm Brickzar. I'm different. This is the Chopper Showdown. It's a different set from this one, even though it looks the same. And I'll be back tomorrow in a different shirt. Figuratively, literally, something like that. I, I've done forgot what those two words mean. <laughs>